Good Saturday morning. We're waking up a little bit chilly across northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Single digits in northwest Arkansas. Low to upper teens across the River Valley. Plus, we have that wind chill advisory that's been in effect over the past couple of days, and that does expire today at 10 a.m., but that still means our wind chills are very, very cold. If you are heading out the door this morning, our actual temperatures are in the single digits for northwest Arkansas, but it's going to feel into the negatives for the River Valley. Our actual temperatures into the teens, but it's going to feel like the single digits and you can get frostbite in as little as 30 minutes with those wind chill values. So you'll definitely want to bundle up as we head throughout the day today. We're also not going to warm up that much. Taking a look at our temperatures here, we're only really going to reach the low to mid 20s across northwest Arkansas, uh, upper 20s to 30s for the River Valley. But we are going to see plenty of sunshine, maybe just a couple high clouds over the area. But it's going to be a pretty beautiful day with that sunshine. Now, as we head into Sunday, overnight Saturday, you can see those temperatures do stay well above what we've been seeing. We've re recently been seeing those temperatures drop into the single digits, but they're going to stay into the 20s overnight tonight. And as we head into Sunday, we will get above freezing as well. And we're also going to see this increase in clouds ahead of that system that's moving through Sunday night into Monday, making Monday that severe day. So as you just saw Sunday, this is now 3 a.m. on Monday. That system starts to move into the area. We're going to get some overnight wintry mix from that. And as we're waking up on Monday morning, all of that uh, precipitation that we have moving in is going to become freezing rain, and that's going to be a very widespread freezing rain across northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. So freezing rain is pink. Our models don't do a very good job at forecasting what we're, when we're going to see that freezing rain and how widespread it's going to be. But as you can see, for the most part, our temperatures are at or below freezing and plus because we've had all of that snow all of those really really cold temperatures this past week our ground temperatures and our surface temperatures are still going to be below freezing so whenever that rain falls and hits the ground it's going to freeze on the surface and that's why we're going to see that widespread freezing rain now as we head throughout the day on monday that rain is going to transition into just regular rain and not freezing rain anymore as we head into the afternoon so it likely will won't impact your evening commute the same way it might impact your morning commute, but it's still going to be a severe day because of that freezing rain. We could see ice accumulations up to a quarter of an inch with that, and it's going to be a very widespread rain maker. We're seeing rainfall amounts very, very high with this storm, and we're going to see that rain stick around throughout the rest of the week as well. Now, as we head throughout the day Monday, you can see it slowly kind of moves out and slowly calms down a little bit, but we are tracking multiple systems that are going to bring rain for us coming up this week. So it's going to be a pretty dreary week ahead. So today, if you want to get outside and enjoy that sunshine while you can, it's going to be a good day to do it. If you can bear that cold, it's not going to get above freezing today and we have that very cold wind chill, but we will see plenty of sunshine and those clouds do increase as we head into Sunday, but Sunday might still be a great day to get out there as well. Like I just showed you that system moves in Sunday night as a light wintry mix transitioning into a freezing rain on Monday. So Monday is a severe day for both Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. That freezing rain is going to impact our morning commute. It will transition into rain as we head throughout the day. And like I said, we could see ice accumulation up to a quarter of an inch with this system. And of course, that is going to change as we get closer to Monday and that system moves off the coast of California and closer to us. So of course, you'll want to stay close to your 4029 team as we track it all out for you and tell you everything you need to know. I'm Lillian Hatch with your web weather forecast, and I hope you have a great day.